a dilapidated Denver motel has a new owner after sitting vacant since 2013. Property records show the Royal Palace Motel on Colorado Boulevard was purchased this week by a real estate firm with plans for an apartment building. And as Denver 7 Sam Pena shows us, there's a growing effort to preserve a small piece of that property's history. You know, it's hideous and gregarious. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I've always loved it even though, you know, it's absolutely hideous. Aaron Stevens finds little beauty in the old Royal Palace Motel sign, but for him, that doesn't matter. It's part of Denver's weird, creepy, awful, gregarious heritage. Growing up near Colfax, Aaron saw the sign as home. You know, Denver people, we we love our creepy stories. Shut down back in 2013, the old motel was plagued by crime, even some unsolved murders, and a ghostly history that Aaron wants to save. Every third building in the city is haunted. City records show the purchase of the old motel by the Larimer Group for $7.3 million. They can tear down the rest of the building, but... Although he's happy to see a new building... They should keep the sign. Aaron wants to save the sign. So, and he's not alone. Over at Maury's Neon Shop... Okay, so these are some of the first signs we saved. They're trying to save the neon history of Colfax. If you look at historical photos of Colfax, you know, you can just see almost every business had a sign, a neon sign. 80 years in business, they've saved hundreds of Denver's neon lights. Oh, and you wouldn't believe how many people call or ask about that sign because they have a relationship because it's so prominent right on that intersection. And then he's heating up the glass. Manager Todd Mashashevich says the Royal Palace sign can be saved while also allowing the proposed six-story apartment building to be built. The best practice for saving a neon sign is to save it in place. That part of the sign could be reimagined re By incorporating the sign into the new building, which Todd hopes will allow the neon light to live on. Neon has kind of a cyclical life. Maintaining a beautiful cycle. I just think that we should preserve and cherish the things that make us different and weird. In a crooked disco ball atop a faded crown. I always knew that we were heading home when I saw the, the big shiny crown. For Denver 7, I'm Sam Pena.